Welcome to Underwater Math. My name is Kaylee. Today we are going to learn about symmetry. To understand symmetry better, let's look at this pair of ski goggles. Can we divide this into two parts where one side is a mirror image of the other? That means if we folded one side of the goggles across the line to the other side, would the goggles match up perfectly? Let's try it. Pretend we are folding the right side across the line on top of the left side. The goggles match up perfectly, and we have found a vertical line of symmetry. Does this ski hat have a line of symmetry? Let's cut it in half vertically first. If we fold the right side across the line onto the left side, the hat matches up perfectly, and the hat has a vertical line of symmetry. What if we put a horizontal line through the middle of the hat? If we fold the top half across the line onto the bottom half, we can see that the hat does not line up and does not have a horizontal line of symmetry. Yay, it's snowing. I caught a snowflake for us to look at. Let's draw a horizontal line through the snowflake. If we fold the top half down to the bottom half of the snowflake, will it be symmetrical? Yes, the two halves of the snowflake will line up perfectly. What if we draw a vertical line through the middle of the snowflake? Do we have another line of symmetry? Yes, the snowflake also has a vertical line of symmetry. What if we draw a diagonal line through the snowflake? If you fold one side across the line to the other, will the two sides match up? That's right, the snowflake also has diagonal lines of symmetry. Shapes can have multiple lines and even infinite lines of symmetry. Have fun practicing symmetry, you've got this!